Hello, madam. Me and my colleague here from Eternal Vitality. Right. I'm going to piss in their flowers then. No, in. come on. What are you two after? Hello, sir. Me and my colleague here from Eternal Vitality Juicing, a company that offers a wide range of health boosting juices, and just wondered if we could borrow a few minutes of your time. Yeah, I've got a few minutes. Eternal Vitality Juices slowly release vitamins throughout your body all day, giving you extra energy. And then my wife died on the Thursday. Oh, God. My brother died on the Saturday. And then my stepson rang me up and he said, Dad, I found a lump. So that was him gone. Grandson dead, stepdaughter dead, and that bastard only got three years and a slap on her wrist. Oh, OK, well, thank you so much for your time, and we're really sorry that Then we they rung up from the hospital and they said, could you get down here now? Because they're draining the fluid out your sister's spine. Heart disease, he said. And I never smoked a single fag in my life. Curtain. And the doctor, he just shrugged at me like this, look. Hey, like this. Yeah. He just shrugged. So, are you going to actually buy something today? Hey? Are you going to buy something today? God, no. OK. Thank you very much for your time. It's all right. Enjoyed it. See ya. Bye. So, I've let Curtin take the lead on this one because basically he's just not engaging enough. And he needs to build up his confidence because, honestly, I'd be better off carrying around a sad sack of shite with me. How long do you reckon he's been in there for? Must be like 20 minutes. I reckon he's selling loads. Hello? Hello? Hello, Curtin? Can you give me more stock? Four, Curtin? Five, six. Oh, I forgot yours outside. Utterly unprofessional. Seriously. Sure go, isn't it? Yeah, sure. yeah. My guide to managing the team is pretty simple, really. Make the underlings feel like shit because you're the big boss. Take up the space. It's like a bull in a field. There can't be too many bulls because they'll ruin it. Look, if you don't want to be involved in this business, then seriously, just don't be involved. Is that right? The fuck, Curtin? Seriously, I thought we were doing this together. It's just, the thing is, OK, it's just so much effort. Yeah, cos you're not pulling your weight, to be honest. That's why it's so much effort. It's actually more effort for me. To... And we're in a business meeting. Why do you think it's OK to get your phone out? Who is that? No one. What, they said that's so funny, then? Huh? You wouldn't get it. I would get it. You wouldn't. I would get it. All right, then, he said, that awkward moment when an awkward lord asked you for a clack handle. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Right, I want these delivered to every house in the village tonight. I mean it. And stop with the attitude as well. Thing is, I don't know what you actually do. Business. Oh my god, did you see the look on the vicar's face then? <laughs> he was livid, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was livid. That was madness, man. That was he was fuming. When I see them free together, oh, I think we could have another Columbine on our hands. And that's very scary. Look at the clouds. Look how mad they are. They're crazy. Don't you just think sometimes, you look at the clouds, you just think... Sometimes you just look at the sky and you think how insignificant that all is. Mm. Yeah, do this. Your hands like that. Yeah, open them up, look inside. That's what they actually look like. Yeah. Look at this stupid bloke here, look at him. Look how stupid he is. Do you reckon he saw that? 
He's coming out. He's coming, he's coming. Yeah, he's not coming. Oh, he was gonna though. He was livid, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, I was supposed to be delivering leaflets for Kerry, but fuck it. I ain't running around for her like a blue ass fly no more. And anyway, she's promoted Levi above me now, and he's only 10. And he can't sleep without a nightlight. So how'd it go last night? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, delivered all the leaflets around all the houses. Even went down Charlie Bottom Farm, which was quite a trek, but I don't mind. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually quite surprising how many houses are in this village as well. But no, it's great, all in all. Leave, I get them pictures up on your phone. 500 leaflets just dumped in the stream. Have you been here all night? Yeah. You really need to go home. Your mum's called the police and everything. Are you serious? Yeah. OK, go home now, but if anyone asks you fell asleep by accident, OK? Go home now. What was he doing here all night? Filing. Do you think I'm going to get in trouble? Are those debt letters? No. And you're fired, by the way. What? And you're also fired from being my best mate, by the way. <laughs> well, I have new mates anyway, by the way. Well, what? The nerds? No, they're not nerds. They have names like human beings, actually. Oh, yeah? What are their names, then? Count Fartula and Weak Nathan. Sorry, I couldn't quite hear that. Count Fartula and Weak Nathan. They're honestly not nerds, though. They're just my mates. They look up to me. Oh, well, what? So that makes you king of the nerds? Do you know what, yeah? You're just a bully <laughs> and you've been conned in some shitty little pyramid scheme. Yeah, it's a multi-level management scheme, so get it right. And the juice tastes like ass. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Drink some now, then. No, because I'm not thirsty, so what's the point? <sighs> That's because you know it tastes like ass. No. It is. Drink it some now. If you believe in this business so much, yeah, you drink some. I don't mind drinking it. It doesn't bother me. Excellent. Now have some now. Swallow. Tastes like ass, doesn't it? <sighs> That's all I wanted. I'll see you later. Embarrassment, you are. <sighs> In business, there will always be setbacks. I don't drink my own juice. Frey Bentos doesn't eat his own pies. But that's business. So I've just been to my dad's, but he wasn't there because his girlfriend Sandra kicked him out and he's living in a caravan at the moment. I'm just going to be there for him no matter what, just like he's been there for me. Even though that has been hard for him to be there for me, to be fair, because he has darts on a Wednesday and skittles on a Thursday and the weekends are right off because he likes his me time. I needed the toilet, right? I was desperate because I'd had four pints down the keepers. Yeah. So I went in the bushes by the ladies' tennis club and some meddling old tar only goes and calls the police and said, I'm peeping on her. And I was aroused. I went aroused, just well endowed. Yeah. You can't shoot a man for being well endowed, Kerr. Oh. Now they're pressing charges. Sandra's kicked me out. The darts team don't want to know. I went in the pub yesterday, they all turned their back on me. Even Alan. Even Alan? Well, I have some bloody tatters, care. Absolute tatters. I'm in this bloody caravan without a pot of piss in. It's just malicious lies, that's all it is. They're jealous of what God gave me downstairs. Yeah. And now i got nothing left. You got me, Dad. Nothing left. I peeped once in 78 and I didn't like it. I didn't like it one slice. No. And I vowed myself to never peep again. Yeah. Well, tell a lie, I peeped just once more, just to make sure I didn't like it. That was in 89, and I didn't like it that time, neither. Mm. I've been on my milkman by trade care. Don't you think I've got better things to do? It's all right, Dad, the truth has to out. No, it don't care. The next thing you know, you'll get a call from the police who say they've got CCTV footage that absolutely nails you and your DNA all over a tennis racket cover. I'm sorry, Care, but 
It's an absolute stitcher. It's all right, I'll look after you, Dad. <laughs> Oi! Ah, leave it, Care. Leave it. It's only Alan. <sighs> Bloody Alan. Fucking little snake. So, basically, Slogs is going to have his date with Kaylee just before my date with her, which actually works in my favour, because he'll be setting the bar very, very low. And by the time I get there, I'll be like knight in shining armour, and she'll be like the damsel in distress, and she'll just come running into my arms. And if I have to, I will punch him, just to make sure Kaylee knows she's safe. But that'll be easy, because it'll be like punching a turkey or any other flightless bird. That's sweet, isn't it? That reminds me of Kaylee because he looks so cute. Oh, here he comes, slithering in, snake in the grass. Thing is with Kaylee, yeah, is that she's got to accept I'm damaged goods and we will have to take it slow, but Time does heal even the most cruelest of hearts. I'm not saying I've got a cruel heart, but if she ain't willing to take me as I am, rather than the monster I've become, then she can literally just jog on back to the sea with all the other fish, because I don't care. God, you still haven't made your mind up. Jeez. It's just a date, mate. It's, that's all it is. You're not meeting the queen. Me and Katie, we like Beauty and the Beast, yeah? And I'm like the beast, because the beast has got massive trust issues with being fucked over massive in the past, yeah? And, and Slugs is like, Gaston. No, he's worse than Gaston. He's like Gaston's fat, horrible little sidekick that follows him around everywhere. The key to dating, yeah, is the two R's and the three T's. Respect, rapport, and talking, talking, talking. Don't ever let that ball hit the ground. Good relationships are built on great conversation. Pastor right, in. time's up. Fuck off. On a date, you've got to tell them all the interesting stuff about you because that's what they'll be interested in. I don't smoke, I vape. I said I don't smoke, I vape. I went to this vaping exhibition with my cousin Kerry at the NEC and there was about 10,000 of us just vaping. Yeah, I was on the bus the other day, yeah, and I was sitting in the back of the bus and the bus driver suddenly stopped the bus, yeah, and goes, and he walks all the way down, and goes to me, you can't smoke on here. Guess what I was doing? Vaping. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's him. That's good, good girl, yeah. That's good. All right then. That's it, back her up, back her up. Easy with her. That's it, she's biting. Fighting. Come on. That's it. She's fighting. Keep going. Easy on the clutch, though. Easy on the clutch. Get that right, yeah? The timing's there. What sort of dog do you reckon that is? He said to me, he goes, you can't smoke on here. I said, I'm I'm not smoking, I'm vaping. Look on his face when I said that. I don't think he knew, knew what vaping, what a vape is. Thank you, it's a Labrador.
With thanks to the vicar helping me in that, I got a place doing a GMVQ in Health and Social Care at Swindon College. And I'm going to be moving there in halls and everything. So, yeah, I'm just basically going to start doing so in my life. I think it's wonderful you want to help people, Curtin. It's amazing I got in, isn't it, Vix? How many people do you reckon applied but didn't get in? I imagine there were a few. I reckon loads, but I got in, didn't I? <laughs> yes, I think it's great, but let's finish filling out these forms, shall we? What do you reckon Carrie will say? Well, I'm sure she'll be over the moon for you. Where do I see myself in five years? Well, me and Curtin will have a flat in the middle of the village and all of our furniture will be inflatable and we'll have a skybox and it will all pay for itself because we're going to use a spare room to breed quails because their eggs are worth fucking shitloads. Okay. Oh, you're not going to believe this. Me and Levi have created this gang called the Dump Gang and we're going to build a den at the dump out of old car parts and we found this washing machine that we're going to use as a safe. So if you want anything putting in there, you've got to tell me now. Right. What were you talking to the vicar about? Nothing. Well, why wouldn't you let me in earlier? Because we're talking about man stuff. I can talk man stuff. Yeah, but not that sort of man stuff. You wouldn't understand. I think I would understand, thanks. What's the massive secret? The vicar's got a problem with his ball bag, all right? So stop going on about it, yeah? What sort of problem? One of them's turned hard like a stone. Now, can you stop with the questions, please? Oh, hello, Kerry. Has he told you yet? Yeah. And what do you think? I don't really know what you want me to say, to be honest. Well, I'll give you two some more time to let it sink in, shall I? Why is he so proud about it? I don't know, no, come on. I, w I wouldn't be shouting that. Yeah, I, I am going to tell Kerry, and soon, because apparently word's getting around, but I just got to try and find the right moment. You know, I want to do it in my own time. I think it will be tough for Kerry. Uh, a lot of her peers have moved on already, so she's been hanging out with a lot of year sevens. But, of course, when they get to year 11, they move on too. So Kerry's just found another batch of year sevens to hang out with until they move on. That's the door. We did that. There's pork chop. He's on security. And um, Bola laughs. Put that up. Let me show you. Yeah, so we're going to have that on the door. So you use that as a door knocker. Enough now. And you come through in here. Oh, it's all right. Pork chop is with me. Just... OK. And oh, close your eyes. Show him our best find, Levi. OK. One, two, three, and open. What are you going to do with him? Smash them on the road, probably, I would have thought. Firstly, Grand Theft Auto 5. We bought that together, so who's going to keep that then? Well, she can have it during the week and I'll have it at weekends. Does that work for everyone? No, yeah. not for me, because I'm not happy with my half of Grand Theft Auto being passed around some crappy halls, like some pig on market day getting scuffed or lost or stolen. I'm not happy with that. Just have it then? No, I can't have it, because it's not rightfully mine. I believe that maybe we'll have to do some sort of a changeover through either you or a contact centre. F fine. Uh, OK, then. There's another thing as well I just want to say. I've got a pog that I gave to him ages ago. I didn't actually give it, I lent it to him, that I actually need back now. What pog? It's a shiny. I lent it to you ages ago and I really want it returned. Oh, my God, this is baffling. Are you not baffled by this? That was probably at school. I've moved house, yeah, three times since then. I, I want you two to be on good say, terms for when Curtin leaves. This did problem. you see that sort of behaviour that I'm having to put up with? I'm just asking for my pog to be returned before he fucks off and leaves me all on my own with the Grand Theft Auto to look after. I am being very calm. OK, Kerry. Curtin, will you be able to look for Kerry's pog? I can look, but I won't find it. That sort of attitude I've had to put up with for 20 odd years. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I had to put up with that nagging old bell shaft for 20 odd years. Oh, come on, YouTube, that's what did another I just thing. say? I want any ship of the words bell shaft, wank, coin, and ass pirate because I made them up. I don't want them being banded around the college with him taking ownership of them because that's not right. Fine then, I want ownership of the words fuck nut and dick milk. OK, right, Fine. that's enough. Fine. I do want that in writing, though, by the way. I actually 
cannot wait to leave this shithole. Yeah, and I actually cannot wait for you to leave this shithole. I had this come through the post and I got a few concerns about it. Firstly, this guy in the front looks really arrogant. Not the sort of guy I was expecting, if I'm honest. Well, the big day is approaching and I can tell Curtin is a little anxious. Uh, this morning we had a few F's and Jeff's flying around, but that's totally understandable as he's on edge. I ain't joking now, Vicar. This is starting to stress me out a little bit. Look, Curtin, I'm sure the pattern on the carpets in the classrooms aren't going to be a problem. How many times do I have to tell you? Swirls on carpets freak me the fuck out. What if I have an epileptic fit? I am feeling lightheaded just thinking about it. Curtin, I know you're feeling a bit anxious. It's a big step, but it's normal to feel this way. And another thing, I've been looking at the menu in the cafeteria, yeah? I wonder if you could be so kind in telling me what the fuck is pesto? So, as I say, he's a bit on edge, but we've had a good chat and I think he's um, really looking forward to it again now. I don't want to be saying this again. If you want to get into Dump Gang headquarters, use the door. That's what it's for. Yeah, I haven't seen Curtin in a while. But I'm doing all right. I've got a Dump Gang and we're tight as fuck. You know, it's so simple. All you have to do is go knock, knock. Who's there? Slugs. What's the password? Dump gang, can I come in? Yes, you can come in, because you did it correctly. You know? You are right, Kerry? No, I'm not all right. Just people just need to start, you know, treating this place with some respect. Who gave Mulhill the Hoover bag hat? He's banned. He went to the toilet in the, in the office. I just, give me that now. Everyone, pork chop, get everyone out, please. Use the door. Use the door. Just... Thank you, Porkchop. 